Hello everyone, this is Fire Rally, and welcome to a mini-series that um, I planned on doing with you guys. So, in the hardcore group, we got ourselves a um, an interesting project that we have on our hands, and it involves making dungeons. Now, if you've seen uh, Hardcore Creeperlands Unearthed, you, you would know that I made mods in my past. However, MC Edit doesn't really exist anymore. So I've had to uh, start from scratch. So today I spent most of my day uh, trying to figure out how to do this. Just make a custom uh, spawn egg and how to make custom mob heads from the existing ones. Because it turns out you don't technically need a player head to make a, to make a, uh, a player head with special properties. Each one of these textures I'm pretty sure has like like a letter or number assigned to it or a couple for its hue and so what that gives you is the ability to make whatever you really need and so the idea is that uh, we select one of these mob heads as a custom mob through the map and currently the theme we're going for is phantoms so what i'm going to do is the phantom black cat silverfish black rabbit probably the salmon head and maybe the magma cube is what i'm considering for custom mob heads and then heads along the floor i was thinking of all of these different ones especially this one just for backflip and so that is what um the plan is right now and so i've been spending a lot of time researching how to um do these special commands and stuff and that gave me my head. This one spawns a zombie with uh, the ability to pick stuff up. And he also makes no noises and he takes no damage. Give him a parrot head. He gets a parrot head and he'll uh, turn off the flames. And so this is kind of aesthetically what we're going to look at here. I'm going to turn off the sounds. He doesn't make any noise when he walks, which is concerning. He should have an AI, but I don't think he has anyone to go after. If I give him a villager, I'm pretty sure that he'll go after somebody, go after the guy. Yeah. So he's, so he uh, killed him, and now he's a zombie villager who's cooking. I mean, honestly, this guy looks pretty scary. <laughs> Like, not gonna lie. So, this is kind of the aesthetic we're going for, is to give them one of these heads, and then one of these bodies, and then we will mix up their stats, and so forth. But the problem here is, is he drops all of his loot when he dies. I don't want that to happen, and I also don't want the, uh, the armor to break either, because otherwise, it's just kind of weird in the dungeon. But then again, they will probably die well before they break. But still, I want some continuity in there in case uh, Devin does something weird because he's Devin. The main resource that I have for making these is called the Minecraft.tools website. Go figure. Um, they tell you the commands to put in. And then between the commands and the ids for these in the resort in the data pack that zazuma void made i've been able to slowly piece together how to make them on my own it's been a lot of work and i've been doing it took me like two hours like the accomplishment of two hours was just this zombie right here like you would think it was the other zombie no it's this zombie because it was a spawn egg and i already checked you can't stuff these into a spawner so we'll have to try something different so if you want to uh, come with me on this uh, map making journey, because last time I kind of did it all solo behind the scenes, I thought this would be a fun series to fill things up with um, in between stuff. Um, so yeah, that's what I have been up to. And as a side note, I'm going to show you guys what the, uh, the plan is. So if you see this picture right here, this is the general idea now it was put together using the resources provided by mark brown from game makers tool ch tool chit toolkit and now you know the idea i'm going for is uh um an elytra 
dungeon so you get the elytra from this dungeon is the big thing so you don't have to do the ender dragon but again i'm also putting in other rewards such as maybe these heads or something like that which i think would be fun just you know random vanity based stuff i think could be a total blast for people and so what you're seeing here is whenever you see the line going into multiple places at once it means those rooms branch off of the preceding room so you can do those in any order basically and so it's what we would call a lock and key dungeon mostly you have to find the locks and the keys and figure out which goes where to get everything put together and then you have a couple of puzzles that open things up and then you have your big boss battle with a phantom that you will be having um slow fall to go in battle with because i think that would be a cool boss idea but we will have to test that out here and so that's kind of what this series is all about is uh testing these ideas making the dungeons making the dungeon and so forth and i think this will be a lot of fun if you want to uh, see some more technical side of minecraft like the command blocks like let me tell you this is like atrocious to try and think your way through so if you want to see this uh let me know i think it will be a fun experiment for us to go through and i'm excited to get started thanks for watching this uh, brief little introduction video to this mini series and i will see you guys in the next episode ciao 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 ciao